be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm going to be continuing on the series of, you know, making music with AI. Um, there's a site that I checked out here. I'm going to check it out. Basically, it's called Loudly. And you could do some of the similar things that, you know, we did in the last video where you can pretty much build a song or build some stems um, from scratch. Now, uh, they do have a few plans. You can just basically sign up your email here. If we look at the pricing, it's actually pretty dope. It's not too crazy. Um, you feel me? But they got a free account here that you can select. You could do 25 song creations per month. Maximum song lift of... Uh, 30 seconds if you want to go ahead and pay monthly you feel me $15 and you get 300 songs so say if you wanted to make a whole whatever you know this is going to be a real good way to do that um but let's just check it out though let's go to the generator and see what it's working with here obviously we can start with the genre so i'm going to go over here to trap and then we'll set the duration say we want we can only do 30 seconds so we'll do that and I'll start picking some instruments here. So yeah, we want to do you know, drum synth. We'll do some vocals, keys. Matter of fact, we're just gonna put all of it in there. You know, take this out. We'll take the drums out too. A lot of times with these, I like this for like, um, you feel me? Like for melody. Um, and then look, you can come through here and check. You know, select certain things as far as the genre blend. So I can blend genres together. So I can do like, okay, we started off with um, trap and then I can also come over here and maybe have like a lo-fi feel to it. So I think that's kind of cool that you can, you know, control the energy and everything. So I'll just put high energy right there. Um, I don't know what to pick on that, but we'll click the tempo. Take it out to like 140, that's cool. And we can even pick the key here. So we'll do a minor, yeah, we'll just keep it at A. But yeah, you're just gonna go ahead and push generate here. And it's pretty much just gonna do its thing. So it has this half trap slash lo-fi neo soul type beat here that we're gonna create here. So let's just check it out and see. This is obviously different options. I don't quite know what's going on right here. <laughs> I'm gonna download one of them to see kind of like what we got going. Do the MP3 just for now. All right, and then I'm gonna pull back open a Logic. Cool. So now we're going to just throw this in here. But this is kind of dope here, though. Let me see. Yeah, 
that. So that's kind of dope that you can come in here and change it after it, you know, does this thing. This is a pretty cool, you know, option loudly. Um, you feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? You can take this and always use it on stuff. Like, this is something that you can, you know, throw in a quick sampler and stuff like that. You know, you can take little certain parts of the beat. You can reverse it, follow tempo. Put a filter on it. So, yeah, this is another option, man. That if y'all want to get into, you know, using AI to make beats and make melodies and different things like that. That's a pretty cool little other option. Um, but yeah, man, that's just pretty much gonna be today's video. I just wanted to do a quick little video, just sharing another option when it comes to like creating music with AI, which leave me, leave me in the comments section below what y'all think about it. I mean, cause if you really think about it, bro, this the whole transition of music and the music industry and just everything has always been kind of ever evolving. You know, as a producer, I remember when, you know, sampling was, it was a big debacle about our, whether we should use samples as a producer or not. You know, they always say, oh man, you know, you gotta learn how to play an instrument, stuff like that. And so it's just like a lot of different nuances of what people think is, you know, appropriate or not when it comes to music creation or whatever. But leave me in the comment section below. Let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think that AI is something that should be welcomed into the music creation as uh, space, or you think it's something that we should we should reject? You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong. I feel like there should be a um, for sure an emphasis on if you can create something original that should be priced different than compared to say a beat you made with AI or even a beat that you made with, with like a royalty free loop. So this is different things the way and ways to look at it. Um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and end the video though, man. I appreciate y'all watching all the way to the end. Make sure you get subscribed to the channel. You can also join our channel perks or whatever. Sometimes you'll get videos early or get, you know, private and exclusive videos that other people on the channel can't access. Also, if you head over to my website, we have uh, courses that you can download, sound kits and templates. The courses have lots and lots of information. Um, you know what I'm saying? Everything is organized into a curriculum. So you're not like, unlike YouTube or going to one of my social media sites or whatever networks you know everything's kind of all over the place you'll get some good tips but they'll just be kind of scattered all around with the courses everything is together a lot of it is exclusive content and everything but anyway head over there beatmakingbasis.com and i appreciate y'all watching bro i'll see you in the next video we're out